Stay tuned to the end of this video to see this month's Loot Crate Gaming Unboxing. It's the best one so far. How's it going everyone? JakexVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we have quite a cool and different video, talking about the recent leaks which have been coming out about a brand new Forza game coming out very soon for mobile devices. I'm going to be showing you all the evidence we have in today's video and also a few bits which I don't think other YouTubers have showed you either. I know a couple of other YouTubers have talked about this already, but I've managed to find a couple of things that not everyone's touched on, so that's going to be good. And we're going to have a little chat about what we think we can expect in the future for this game. Just want to give a big thanks to GT Planet and Fastlane Gaming for some of the screenshots I'm going to show you um, throughout this video. But I say we jump straight into it. The game that has been leaked is called Forza Street. This is allegedly what the game is going to be called if it exists for mobile, Forza Street. Now I'm going to get straight into it and show you the first leak which really kicked everything off a couple of days ago as to why we think that this may be a thing. There was a file location link leaked on the Forza forums a couple of days ago. I'm going to leave a screenshot on screen right now of what it actually said, but you'll know on, on a couple of websites, if you hover over links, you'll actually see the address at the bottom. Sometimes this would be a file location on accident, and in this case it was, and it actually told us about this new game. It seems very weird, but just take a read of this. You can see at the beginning it says file, users, Brian, documents, week in review, and then at the end... It says this, developed in partnership with UK based studio Electric Square, Forza Street is built from the ground up to support a wide range of Windows 10, iOS and Android devices. And not long after this going out, this was actually removed. But what does this tell us? This tells us about a potential Forza Street game for Windows 10, iOS and Android devices developed by Electric Square in partnership with obviously Playground Games and Turn 10 Studios. Now this is pretty damning evidence, I have a lot more to show you, but let's just talk about what we have here. Electric Square. Believe it or not, Electric Square has already built a mobile racing game before called Miami Street. Electric Square have been in partnership with Microsoft before and they built Miami Street for Windows 10 and devices like that for free. And there has been a say going around that Electric Square is currently working with two major companies on another game. And if all of these leaks turn out, those two companies will obviously be Microsoft and Forza. So everything's looking pretty likely that a Forza Street racing mobile game, possibly for Windows 10 as well, is coming out, well, sometime in the future. However, there's something else that I want to show you which makes this even more exciting. Well over a year ago now, Fast Lane Gaming posted this to his Facebook page. This was over a year ago now, I think. And this showed the Forza Motorsport 7 release date, the Forza Horizon 4 release date before it was even released, and then another one called Forza Nation. Now, Forza Horizon 4 did release around the 25th of September, and this image was posted by him way before that was even kind of talked about. The releases are similar anyway, but still, the date was there. And this Forza Nation says the 10th of February, which has already passed, so this Forza Nation, Forza Street, has obviously been delayed, whatever that is. But I think that this Forza Nation thing is actually this, this Forza Street that's been leaking recently. It's very common for the name of a game to be changed before release, so let's say a year ago they thought, yeah, we're going to call it Forza Nation, and recently they've changed it to Forza Street, that's fine. But what I find exciting about this is the release date says to be around the 10th of February, which has passed, which means maybe we're getting this game sooner than we thought. If they were originally planning to release this nowhere near the usual schedule for Forza games, like September and October, we could be getting announcements about this within the next couple of weeks or even months. We've seen that file location link on the forum. We've seen this picture, which has been around for ages now, and the time is around now. It's pretty exciting. Many of you will know Danny at Forza. He's the guy that makes all the announcements and he's on stage at things like E3, for Forza games. 
apparently he is going to be in a Forza live stream this Friday, March the 8th. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what he's doing, I don't know if it's confirmed what he's doing or not, but the fact that he is going to be on a Forza live stream tells us something, because he has never been on a live stream before. And the fact that he's the guy that makes announcements at E3 and stuff like that, could we be seeing information about Forza Street or just the mobile game? Could they tease us? We don't know, but I'm sure you all need to stay tuned for Danny's live stream on the Forza Motorsport YouTube channel on March the 8th, this Friday. And I just wanted to quickly touch on what this game will be like as in payment wise will this game be free will we have to pay for it because in the past electric square as i said they've made miami street in partnership with microsoft and this was a free to play game and if electric square are making this one with forza are they going to make that one free as well in my opinion i don't know we don't know i'm not going to say yes i'm not going to say no because we just don't know but the fact that i don't think forza is a play to win game I don't think they're greedy when it comes to money, they don't have many microtransactions, maybe they will make it free. Or because there's not going to be a Forza title this year, no Forza Motorsport 8, no Horizon 5, maybe that will mean they'll put a little price tag on this. But because, as I said, it's going to be a mobile game, probably won't be that expensive anyway. I'd be surprised if it's more than the Forza Horizon 4 VIP pack price. But yeah guys, I believe that's nearly everything we know about the upcoming potential Forza Street game that we could be getting for mobile games in the near future. We've talked about how this leak came out, how this leak was actually kind of released a year ago in some way, and why that could make this even more exciting as the release date said February the 10th, which wasn't that long ago. Let's say the game was delayed for a month from February 10th, that would mean March 10th, March 10th is actually, March 10th, which would mean a delay of a month, is actually only two days after this announcement possibility live stream on Friday. I am not saying we're going to get Forza Street on the 10th. I don't believe that at all. Please don't go to those expectations, but you never know. It could be closer than we thought. Let's just have a wait until Friday and see what we find. But anyway, lads, let me know what you think in the comment section below, what you expect of this game, what you think it could be like, and if you're going to buy it, if it's real. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later. Okay, guys, it is time to open up this week's Loot Crate Loot Gaming Box. Last month, we had a look at last month's crate. Today, we are looking at March's crate. So here we go. As always, if you are interested in looking at any of Loot Crate's boxes that you can purchase, go to lootcrate.com slash jkxvx in the description, and then use code jkxvx for 10% off. There's lots of different crates to choose from. This is the gaming crate, and here we go. I've not actually seen this one this month. We are having a look at it right now. Three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, I can see a nice box below that. Sorry for the camera focusing, I don't know how to fix that to be honest. Starting off with the shirt, what is the shirt that we've been given this month? It is, oh, it is a Tomb Raider shirt. Let me just put it here so you can see. We'll pop that there. We also have, that is pretty cool to be honest, a hat. It looks like a black hat, but it's got a fancy kind of black stitching kind of design. What's that? A piece of cardboard. I actually quite like that to be honest. The way it just looks black, but you can still see the design on it. That's heavy. What on earth is that? I don't know what that is, but that is heavy. Then we have a card wallet. Oh, that's also pretty cool. I might use that. <laughs> card wallet. There we go. With some kind of badge on it for Dark Souls. And then another collectible pin, which can go with my one from last month, which is here. So this is last month's. And this is this month's. By the looks of it, we've got a new poster this month. What is the poster going to be? The Elder Scrolls Online poster. Now, what is inside here? It says on the front, heat reactive. No idea what that means. It's something to do with Diab Diablo. Let's open it up, shall we? Here we go. Oh, it's a mug. <laughs> I was gonna say, what on earth is gonna be heat reactive? That is going to be sweet. Heat, um, heated liquid, so tea or coffee. 
I presume it uh, changes colour or something because there are the designs on the side. <laughs> I've just realised it says mug on the side, which I didn't see, but I've put some hot water in it. But I've put, done it from the sink and I don't know if it's... So yeah guys, if you're interested in any of this, you get sent a box every single month and you have no idea what's going to be inside of it. It's a month. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.